Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna finally get the last of the wall steel up behind me. We just put that double French door up on the porch area so we can get it installed and then get that last section of steel done. The big push is tomorrow my spray foam guy is coming back and he's gonna finish up all the exterior walls, get all that spray foam done, which is awesome because the timing works out impeccably. We've got all of our interior framing just showed up today, which means after that spray foam is done, we can start going on interior as soon as we want. This is scary and I'll tell you why. Because we're gonna cover up our Four joists and not, and feel like this is a four, but really, really it's not. Do uh, you want to cut it real quick so we don't make that mistake? Or and let's throw it over there so that way later on we'll go to walk over there, see the cardboard, and then walk on it later. Come on, we need that skip it. Get in the hole. I'm on my mark. I think so. Okay. Set her in. Now we didn't really think about this, but we need a we need a level. It ain't bad, bro. How's that side? Oh. Might as well check it. My hand is sticky. A little bit. What do you need? Ready? I don't want to get caught. Yeah. All right, so this area is going to be the second story deck that's also going to be screened in. So there's going to be, uh, you know, screens around the perimeter, which means we thought it would be a good idea instead of having our steel run through this wall, we went ahead and we cut a six by six cedar, the same material that is our beam and header material. We cut it in half and we're gonna mount two of those on the wall right underneath this. We get, we thought, you know what, that'll break up this space and it will give the screen installer something nice and clean to install around. Oh, Greg, mm -hmm. can you angle it from the top down so it like sucks the oh. post up. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. What I'm gonna do also is put my hammer. I'm gonna hit this first dirt first. Like they mean the top one? Yeah. Okay man. Go for it. I right, mean you're good all the way. Yes, love it, dude. Love it. Okay, that's uh, that's not a bad way to finish up this detail. Closes all this off. We've got everything flashed nice, so the water is going to run out into our ceiling, and then we've got this cedar post, which will be here to terminate the screens off, so it won't be this metal rib to have to worry about. So that was the main push with this uh, material use right here. Okay, here we go. I think I want to start down here. Got a, little, mm. got a little bit more freedom. And then now that I get my fingers. Okay. Here's what I need you to do, man. Nope. Right up there where the joint is, pull out. Yep. Just like that. Basically we know we lasered this guy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get my Oh yeah, my this one this one doesn't matter. You can you can you no, it's gonna be perfect. It, you make it look good, because it is good. No, it's, it's literally perfect. What I'm gonna do is just use this line laser, plumb it up to one of my uh, ceiling ribs, exactly where the center of the good rib is, so that I can make sure down here at the bottom, I'm perfectly plumb, and then I can lay out my measurements. All right, so that center rib, Greg, can you give me a dimension on center of rib to edge of, of panel? 
center is the edge of my elbow. Yeah, I just want to know where I lay out my exact mark. What'd you say? 37 and 316. Okay. All right, height on the next one will be the same, 83 and a half. Ballerina up here, man. Let's see, tight in thirty five and a half. Height wise, fifty and a half is tight, eighty six. Fifty and a half is tight. Yeah, fifty and a half is tight bottom, eighty six is your, your cut above. What is it? All right, so now that I have this rake trim on, I got it exactly where I want it. Now, what I needed this for was to define exactly where my peak was gonna be, because what I'm working on is this ridge cap detail. This is not gonna be a vented ridge. This is an elevated ceiling in here, so it's basically the steel is applied directly to the roof frame. And so this is just gonna be a closed off soffit. And that also means that there's not going to be any ridge venting. We're going to do the, the Z channel, um, which is going to be a really clean look. And I think uh, is the way I would like to do all my ridges. Just got to find out how to make them nice and vented at the same time.
My hand? Yeah. Ooh. Tight fit, dude. That's why I like it. What do you want? Drill. Yeah. Okay. So, wait, wait, wait. What's going on here? I feel like there's something weird going on. And you're just hitting it. Okay, wait. I gotta make sure I get overlap. Okay, that one on your left side there? Yep, I see that. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Whoa! <laughs> And yeah, let them close up a little. Put your hands together to help me get on those last ones. I don't know what to do. Well, go like this, like you're going in. <laughs> yes. And then put your hand down there. Oh, it's cut my bicep. Oh, it hurt. Here, do you want me to come over there? Look back here and see what's going on. Just go and get intimate, okay? Paul? Well, okay. I think you're good. Yeah. Boom. Here, you're in a good angle. Are you good? Are you good to get that there? So that's the ridge cap detail. We just went ahead and locked it on, slid it under, um, did a little bit of detail work against the wall for waterproofing. And once the soffit face is done, this rake trim will get you know finished. I'll pull the plastic off, and then we'll also put some rivets right in here to keep this nice and tight. Maybe even here. I don't know. We'll see how it works but that's it it's such a cleaner detail than what we did on the vented ridges where we have to do those clips to hold in our vented ridge material and then rivet through them that's just like super clean no oil can and that looks so much better though yeah it does oh so much better all right we got our last exterior detail that we're going to work on this morning which is this porch we've been waiting for our soffit fascia and a couple trim pieces because I didn't want to uh, order this porch earlier. I wanted to wait until it was close to the end of the job knowing that we could burn up all of our scrap pieces and extra pieces of trim that were left over from the main project since this was an add-on. So this is what we're gonna work on and then this will complete all the exterior steel trim work and steel work that we have to do. The last thing will be the second story deck when we get some composite decking material. If you hear behind me that drill, we got electricians here. They're working on the inside, hanging the big fan and doing some other electrical work. So it's nice, man. Project is moving along. And as soon as we're done with this, we're going to head inside and start working on the interior. I'd say you got about three foot extra. Okay. But we had a Jay coming back here to cap this edge too, right? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Like, so like so double, like when, you run, yeah, when you run this one down, it'll go all the way and you'll top, stop it right underneath your fascia. And then this guy's gonna die in, and you'll just add another little. And there'll be a one foot coming back, or whatever this is. It's on an angle, though. Yeah. So yeah, whatever this is coming back here. Yes. Yeah. It'll be a double J. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Um. Yes, but I guess what I was just making sure is that the the end fascia soffit dies in, and the side it stops at the post. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I've seen it done both ways. Look at this, man. This is nice. nice. I think that looks stupid. I'm not gonna lie. Nice strong beam. How stupid as you look right now.
he's got to get cut. 29 and a quarter. Okay, so this actually, I'm gonna need your help. So what, I got, what we gotta do is I gotta hold this perfect. I'm gonna have you undo this screw, and then we're gonna slide it up tight to this J. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that screw back in. Do you wanna do that till you get that? Let's no, I'm gonna do, I gotta do one at a time so I can make, I, I'm not gonna, this is already too tight anyway. I'm gonna have to probably, I don't know. Yeah, I should probably get both of them up there I first. Think, I think so, otherwise it's gonna be a pain. Yeah. Yeah, and then this guy here, I'm just gonna, it's gonna just go right in and... Yeah, yeah. See, the good thing is, you don't have to be super tight. With what? Like, because of that wire there. And your box is gonna cap that, so you won't have to see Oh, that. yeah. I mean, this... This should go right in here, and that's all I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. But... It might, might be probably just as like, just like a window. It's a little bit difficult. Because of the uh, angle, the, the, yeah, the, it's coming back this way, and this one's going to be a little bit more difficult just because I got to get into that J. But the way I did that one so easily, the first one was easy. So basically, oh, I'm going to have to come this way, like this, get it up in here. This one's the oh, easy I one, and then it rolls down in. Mm hmm. Hopefully, get this in here, and then just kind of work it down. So this is the easy one. Hey, come on. There, so that one, I just push that down tight. And I might have enough room, actually, to get that one up there. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be fine. And then I'll just have to easy kind of push easy. things together. Easy clap. Yeah, I don't know. You can stop right here. Now that we're wrapping up this exterior, we're gonna be starting on the interior build out. Now this is gonna basically be a home, so there's a lot of details that you've never seen us do before on the channel. And if that's something you're interested in, if it's something that you wanna know more about, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and follow along as we finish the interior of this project. There's a lot to share and I'm excited to do it. So we'll catch you guys in the next video.